Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another world record video. So today we have Poco World Record. Now we released Poco World Record number one, which is kind of us a little bit earlier in trophies, you know, trying to get to this mark. The old world, world record was 1,373. As you guys can see on your screen, we are 15 cups ahead of that. So we already broke the record, but we are not done here. We're going to go to at least 1,500 trophies. I think what we're going to try and do is get 1,600. So it's a little bit high up. You know, it's one of the better records and hopefully nobody breaks it soon. With that being said, if you guys can leave a like before we get into the gameplay, it would mean a ton. Likes do help so, so much with the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys can do that, it would definitely help out. So please go ahead and do so. But with that being said, we're going to get into some games and let's get things rolling and show you guys this world record gameplay. Okay, so we're going to start off here with the world record game. So we're at 1373 on this one. We were tied for the world record going into this one. And basically every single game we face some sort of variation of Spike, Tara, Max, B, Gene, and Sandy. So basically all brawlers that counter us really hard. So we were trying to figure out these games really early on they were very difficult we actually did lose one time i know last video i said we didn't lose from 10 30 but the map changed right after this game right after we broke the record the map changed we thought we would try it out we thought we would get hard countered even more and it turned out we did so we did lose that game um but that is our one loss so far we've been playing pretty well as a team jigsaw obviously does have the rosa world record as i made in the previous video and J uh, not jig sorry and slash is soon going to have that jackie world record we're not going to push anything today or tomorrow because the maps are pretty bad and we're way ahead of schedule this has been a pretty easy push to be honest so we have time for another world record this season uh but instead you know we're just you know going to take things slow and wait a couple days wait for some good maps we don't have to overplay don't have to tilt anything you guys can see we're doing really good i'm giving my gadgets to everyone you guys know i've made so many poco videos as of late poco has been one of my favorite brawlers as of late and you guys know everyone has been saying you know poco isn't that meta poco isn't that good everything counters tanks everything counters this but no i promise you do not listen to anyone else a good poco double tank is unbeatable there's just no way you can beat it we get countered every single game by legitimate players we actually have a really funny game that i'm going to show you later on with that's an extreme hard counter but this comp is so good as long as you play it correctly and just know what you're doing there's no way that you can lose and you know every single game you've seen is us versus hard counter so that kind of testifies for it um but anyways you guys can see we're getting taken down over here this this team's playing really well i never use my heal just to heal myself but i thought taking out the tara there was a really good decision so obviously it was one shot i decided to use my heal and it worked out because i did end up staying alive now I feel like the spike might have had a super shot there if he timed it correctly and scored a goal. He did end up getting a kill on me and healing himself, but I think he could have scored over there. But, you know, these guys are putting up pretty good pressure, but they can't get through our double tank. They can't seem to get a team wipe, which is really hard to do, to be fair, unless you're getting like a triple pull. It's so hard to team wipe this comp because there's just so much damage, so much HP, you know. It's just basically impossible. But anyways, 10 seconds left. That Tara is going to try and just own goal because the game's over. He misses. Slash does a little bit of BM. Slash is toxic. He misses his goal. And this one is going to end in a 1-0 win. Uh, one nothing win. Two and a half minutes. Oh, never mind. I guess I scored. But yeah, it's going to be the first game. So pretty hard counter. Pretty good players. Pretty good game. Two and a half minutes. GG. So then we're going to hop over to the next map, which we decided to grind gem because, you know, we got way too hard countered on the other Bravo map. So let's hop over into it and let's show you guys what we do in gem. So here we go hopping into a gem game. Now, this is kind of a typical comp for what we, you know, faced. We obviously run in that same comp, the Poco double tank, and they have a bow mid. Most teams have a bow or gene mid. Personally, I think bow is way better here. You guys can see the entry points are really thin. So once you get those bow mines down, there's literally nowhere that they can go. Slash has been playing super aggressive. And when you're facing a bow, obviously it's got those mines that you can't do anything about. And I obviously messed it up over there. But what you want to do, your strategy of attack kind of for beating the bow is the bow's not going to hurt you. The bow can't actually do anything to you, especially if you're Poco double tank. But what the bow can do is it can stun you with those mines. What you want to do is you want to go right into the Poco. You want to be very aware, or right into the bow, I mean. You want to be very aware of where those mines are. Because if you're not aware, you're going to lose a game. You're going to throw a game. You're going to lose all the gems. Something along those lines. You just want to go rush the bow, kill the bow. It doesn't do enough damage. doesn't have enough HP to kill you. And then once the bow is dead, you go and trigger all the mines. That is the best strategy for countering bow. There's no other way to counter the mines. You can't just walk on top of them because obviously you are going to get killed. Um, but yeah, that's how you basically beat a bow. I feel like that was a little bit important for me to tell you guys because bow is so strong. That is something that I agree with every content creator about is that bow is just ridiculously overpowered and needs a nerf. Please supercell nerf bow. But you know, just 
get stay away from those mines don't go near them if you want to you know trigger them kill the bow and then do so but anyways it's gonna be it for this game on to the next game which is actually a really good game which had an absolute god daryl so let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up all right so here we go into this game we're gonna be going up against double tanks you guys can see the rosa and the daryl and then the tick the tick is obviously gonna be the mid um don't know if there are randoms or not but i feel like this comp could actually work out if i've played tick here personally i've even played barley mid here and unless you're facing a gene, you know, you kind of, it's kind of a good matchup. You just chuck shots. You don't let people hit you. And if you're hitting your shots, you're going to be, um, you're going to end up getting the kills. But anyways, this Daryl's an absolute legend. As you guys can see, he just rolls in casually as if no one's there. Gets those three gems. Slash looks like he's going to get the kill. Nope. Daryl's going to hit the shots, pick up a gem and just roll on out of there. So they have a Daryl gem carrier right now. Um, their tick hasn't really done much. Same with their Rosa. Jig's going to go a little bit aggressive on that right side. Probably trying to get the double kill and get the gems from the Daryl. Because we're just trying to make these games as fast as possible. I'm able to get a double heal over there. We're going to be able to get a kill. And Jig's going to go aggro on that Daryl. That Daryl almost goes down. But it's going to decide better. It's just going to roll away. It knows that it's four gems are very important. Fortunately for us, the Daryl can't go aggressive. So it can't just roll on me or anything because it has the gems. And if it dies you know it loses so i just stay near the tanks basically at all times now in this situation the daryl was you know it got kind of close jigsaw realizes so he picks up uh he picks up on it he comes towards the mid but daryl does get a gem gets a few shots and rolls out of the way the few shots are important because that daryl is going to get its uh it's going to get its shots right back it's going to get its roll right back and it's going to be able to try and make another play so it's going to go aggro again i have seven the daryl has five and now we're getting kind of pinched here this is a very scary situation slash is going to try and make a play i'm one shot from heal i get the heal except we're not able to get a kill really good cutoff over here by jigsaw and slash slash with two really big shots over there didn't let their rosa regen and we're able to get that kill very comfortably now we have seven they have seven their god daryl is still at work they have eight now we have eight very close game for you know their weird comp you know it's actually working out daryl grabs their ninth gem and this is where we have to start playing really aggressive starting to get high value i get the double pull or the double heal i should say over there slash is getting good damage i'm getting damage while also healing slash we get a couple kills and then we're gonna move back with the 11 to 7 lead now this daryl is trying very hard to carry this team daryl gets a kill over there on slash seven seconds left eight they don't have enough to tie and obviously we're just gonna run back and i do kind of feel for this daryl because he was a legend all game but he is going to take the l and we're going to be able to squeeze out this victory and that brings us to 1382 now the next game is going to be the last one it's my personal favorite game of the push you know it's one of those games where you just face someone that's purposely trying to make you lose purposely trying to counter comp you and then you just absolutely destroy them and you know it's a really good feeling really good satisfaction so let's hop into the game and let's show you guys what happened all right so here we go into our final game now we're going to be facing the comp on gem grab of gene spike and shelly yes shelly lane you know it definitely was a total coincidence that these guys that have sniped us numerous times before are you know just casually running shelly lane gene lane or gene mid which counters poco and spike now slash is going to be able to get a kill on shelly gonna spin on the shelly's face because obviously you have to do that and you know we're just going to be chilling in that mid we're going to be you know just doing what we normally do i'm going to heal jigsaw over there so he stays up um that gene's going to get pull Shelly's going for some kills over there. He's not able to get it. Slash does a spin again, because why wouldn't you spin when you get that kill? Their spike is like kind of pretending to be AFK, I think. I don't really know what's happening. Maybe it was AFK. Their Gene misses its second pull of the game. The comp is kind of revolved around Gene hitting pulls and the Shelly getting super. Shelly tries to do something. I just spin on him because there's nothing that that Shelly can do. Slash is going to rush into a Shelly's face. Now, let me tell you guys, this is probably not the best strategy. I would not recommend doing that. But he's going to be able to get the kill. He's going to spin on him. The gene's right over here. We're going to be able to kill the gene. And we're going to get countdown very early into the game. It's kind of remarkable how they're running Shelly, Gene, and uh, Spike. And we're able to get that 10-0 on them. But we're able to anyways. Jigsaw's going to be able to get that kill. Oh, I thought he was. He's not going to be able to. I'm just going to stand here and spin with Slash because... You know, we got that W. Their gene is going to miss another pull. And that is going to be it for that game. Now, this one, again, was a personal favorite game, obviously. Um, it's just fun beating counter comp snipers. It's very fun 10 0 counter comp snipers. So I really enjoyed that. But, anyways, that is going to be it for the video. So I hope you guys did enjoy World Record Poco. Again, I'm going to keep pushing it. I'm probably going to make one more Poco video. I don't know if you're sick of Poco yet. But that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And obviously, hit that sub, hit the like, and drop a comment down below. That's going to be it. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.